Wow, wow, guys, guys, I, I, I am, I am dumbfounded, but I know we still have good people in Africa. So I want to share with you, you know, a video of uh, this uh, governor in Nigeria. You'll see the video for yourself, and you'll see. Um, this is what we're talking about: humanity for all. People just have to care. People just have to show some empathy for the people of Africa. A lot can be done. Look at us. We're living in this great country of the United States. Look around me. Look where I live. Look at my kids playing in the background over there. This is what we're wishing for the people in Africa. Guys, if enough Africans can do this for their people, Africa will be that paradise and all of our brothers and sisters would stay in the continent of Africa and not run away from Africa because they believe in the leadership. So thank you to this governor in Nigeria for what he's doing, for what he has done to these people, for what he has done for the lives of these people. This is a generational a blessing, generational blessing that would pass on from one generation to the other. And young Africans would know that this is our responsibility and this is what we're supposed to do for our people. So kudos to this governor. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Nigerians, share this until it reaches that governor. And let him know Ibrahim, a leader and founder of the People's Liberation Movement in Sierra Leone, wants to say many, many thanks to him. And we are hoping that Sierra Leoneans, that are leaders in Sierra Leone, would do the same thing that he has done for the people of Nigeria in his constituency. I want to thank him. I bless him. God bless you, my brother. God will richly bless you and your family. And all your desires shall come to pass. You, should have, you, you, you could have stole this money and put it in your pocket. And ship it overseas and keep it in the Swiss banks and keep it in America banks. But no, you said, no, I want to bless my people. And you bless the people of Africa. You bless the people of Nigeria. Because what you've done is an example that you've set for people far and wide to see. So kudos to you. Kudos to you. Thank you. God bless you. Africa is a better continent. We can do better. Our people deserve better. It's time we change. We say we, we're tired of the knees on our necks. Yes, it starts in Africa. Africa leaders, take your knees off the necks of your people. Let them breathe. Provide for them the basic amenities in life so that they can live a prosperous life. Thank you, Governor. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. I am shocked that with all the lawyers we have in this country, with all the civil rights movements, they watch as my people, the people of Bakasi, bleed and live where they fetch water, defecate on the same land, feed on the same land with no hope. Yet the country watch. Yet the country allocates in billions on elitist projects and programs. I think that if there is a moral conscience today, if there's anything I have done that is worth it, it is this project. It is my number one project because indeed, I celebrate today because God has given me opportunity to put a smile on somebody's face. I could see a grandman dancing to her new home. I could see the hope I could see that her grandchild would have a feeling that truly, truly, African leadership cares. You don't give because you have enough, but because you care enough. But because we care, even from the north in the state house, we must demonstrate the empathy and the show of love and concern for our brothers. We must, at this point, handhold each other and provide a shoulder for our weaker brothers to lean on as we go through the process of the expansion of this extent to accommodate more people. I am lucky because I have a circumstance akin to yours, and so I feel you and I know your pain. But please, let's take today to dance. Let's take today to celebrate. Let's use today as a day to tell a story, a reverse of all that has been your experience, that finally, you have a home called your own. You have a house that is yours. You can get a certificate of occupancy. This is the first social housing in Africa, in absolute terms, where the ownership is in perpetuity, where the property is yours, where there will be no time, you say the parents, you can now move and let another person enter. No, it is your house, it is yours to keep forever and ever. We will continue to expand it. It is not enough to provide you housing, because this is not shelter, this is housing. It means it has amenities, it has power, it has water, it has all the utilities you will so need. You have solar lighting, you have the generator, and you have the third grid, which is the national grid. But today I'm going to also assure you that we have acquired boats, which are by the water side, to enable you to do fishing for those who can fish. We have also made provisions for cash, so we have a takeoff grant of 50 million to support all of you who live here who want to start small businesses. Until that day.